with movie photographs, you got your classic portraiture and you've got images from classic films. And they're both interesting and they're different. And you've also got images from classic European film. And you can get the ones from Italy and from France and from Sweden and from Germany. And these are all beautiful things too. We at Walter Film specialize in all the different genres of still photography, particularly the gallery shots of the stars in which they would go to the studio's portrait gallery to make dozens and dozens of beautiful portraits which would be fed into the movie magazines and also serve as advertising art. We specialize particularly in the very best of that genre of still photography. A movie portrait that is perfect is the image that you see in your mind's eye of that particular person and the right angle. They probably shot a hundred different images but there's usually only one or two that captures just the right cock of the head or just the right smile or just the right look in their eyes. Back in the 1920s, Clara Bow, the It Girl, was one of the great Hollywood movie stars. Hula is this movie set in Hawaii, or a very fictitious Hawaii, and this is one hell of an image of Bo. Wow. Oversized, double weight, she looks great. The scene from Pandora's box is when she has the doctor under her total power backstage. That is one of the sexiest shots you will ever see. It's Louise with all of her power showing it off. And he's a dead duck. He's not dead yet, but soon he will be. And you can tell that he's a goner. And who wouldn't be? Here's a 10 by 13 glamour shot of Greta Garbo for the movie As You Desire Me. And it's a little bit unique because Garbo is in a blonde wig, which it's a completely different look for her. And it was done by her favorite photographer, Clarence Bull. And it's a great representation of early 30s portraiture photography. Lady from Shanghai, classic film noir by Orson Welles. Here's an image of Rita with blonde hair holding a gun. I mean, this is an incredible pose studio shot and this is what you really want from this film. Here we have a beautiful 10 by 13 portrait of Ava Gardner very early in her career. This is a really good example of MGM, Clarence Bull, glamour photography. What's really neat about it is the, the process that was used, the, the chemicals that were used. It's just the kind of thing that they don't do anymore. This is Bardot, absolutely the beginning of her career, looking really sexy on a beach in Cannes. I mean, what more can you ask for? Ida Lupino, to me, is one of the sexiest actresses. Not everybody's taste, but she certainly is mine. This photo of her from a publicity of this particular 1940-41 shot is very sexy, not outrageous in its sexuality, but it's a very knowing shot. Here we have an example of a still that shows a movie in pre-production. This is a costume test still, and it shows Marilyn Monroe in one of her costumes for gentlemen prefer blondes. And if you take a close look at it, you'll see the clapboard next to her that it indicates the fabrics that are being used for her clothes. This was a very, very important step in the process of making a movie to test a costume on the actor to see how it photographed. Frankenstein meets the Wolfman, classic universal horror, vintage photograph. What's really cool is here's Jack Pierce, the great makeup artist, applying the makeup to the monster. Here we have a very important still for the movie London After Midnight with the great Lon Chaney. And of course it's interesting um, because Lon Chaney created all his own makeups for his great film monsters. But very importantly about this particular still is that it's from a lost movie. Still such as this are the only record we have of that particular movie. Last year, Marion Bod, L'année dernière, and Marion Bod. This is a film which, after all these years, people still either love it or hate it. A lot of people one way, a lot of people the other. Baffling, mysterious, and here's an original French double white photograph from this French classic. And this is a truly enigmatic image, it's perfect. This is exactly what the film is about. Here's a really interesting beefcake portrait of Johnny Weissmuller, the famous film Tarzan. He was an Olympic athlete and right after that he had a contract with BVD Underwear 
And part of his contract was that MGM had to promise that a lot of their leading ladies would also appear in BVD commercials. So that makes this particular still of Johnny Weissmuller very unusual.